Music Theory Fundamentals Module. Lesson 2, Note Names. To learn the names of the notes, you must know the names of the lines and spaces for each clef. Any note on a line has the name of that line. This line is an E, so this note is an E. Any note in a space has the name of that space. This space is a C, so this note is a C. When you begin, you may need to use mnemonic devices to help remember the names of the lines and spaces, and therefore the names of the notes that appear on them. As you practice more, you will begin to immediately call to mind the note name when you see it in the context of a clef. There are seven main note names in Western notation, named with the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Notes that have the same letter name are either the same note or are one or more octaves apart. An octave is the distance between a given pitch and one that vibrates twice as fast or slow. This is an E, and so is this. This is also an E, and this one too. The notes ascend or rise in pitch as you travel up the staff and through the alphabet. And when you get to G, you name the note above that A and keep going. To more easily learn the names of the notes for each clef, we'll divide the staff into lines and spaces and use mnemonic devices to help remember the letter names. The lowest line on the treble clef is E. Try to memorize the order of the lines in ascending order with the mnemonic device, every good boy does fine, or every good boy deserves fudge. Or you can try making up your own. The lowest space on the treble clef is an F. The spaces spell out the word face in ascending order, F-A-C-E. The lowest line on the bass clef is a G. Try to memorize the order of the lines in ascending order with a mnemonic device, good boys do fine always, or good boys deserve fudge always. The lowest space on the bass clef is A. Try to memorize the order of the spaces in ascending order with a mnemonic device, all cows eat grass, or all cars eat gas. There are benchmark notes to become familiar with on each clef. Octaves are numbered starting at the bottom of the piano keyboard, and the octave numbers are included here for clarity, but you may not need to learn them, depending how deep into music theory you intend to go. Landmarks on the treble clef include the note on the first ledger line below the treble clef, the middle C, a note on the second line from the bottom, the line that the treble clef curls around. Remember the treble clef is also the G clef, and this note is a G. A note on the third space from the bottom is a C, one octave above middle C, the C5. A note on the space above the treble clef is a high G. This will feel high in soprano and falsetto voices. A note that sits on the second ledger line above the treble clef is a C two octaves above middle C, the C6. This will feel very high in soprano and falsetto voices. Landmarks for the bass clef. A note that sits on the second ledger line below the bass clef is a C two octaves below middle C, the C2. A note in the space below the bass clef is a low F, F2. This will feel low in bass voices. A note in the second space from the bottom is the C below middle C, the C3. A note on the fourth line from the bottom, the line where the bass clef starts and its two floating dots surround, is an F. Remember that the bass clef is also known as the F clef. A note on the first ledger line above the bass clef is the middle C, C4. Memorize the landmark notes and you can use the alphabet to figure out the rest. Note that the C on the ledger line below the treble clef is the exact same pitch or frequency as the C on the ledger line above the bass clef. They are both C4. To review, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G are the seven main note names in Western notation. An octave is the distance between a given pitch and one that vibrates twice as fast or slow. Notes an octave apart have the same letter names. Mnemonic devices and landmark notes are what we need to use to memorize note names. The 
The next lesson will be on note time value.